so you started open source. Uh, we see a beta version of uh, ZenML Cloud. Can you tell us what is the plan? What are we going to what, what what are we going to offer on top of what we can get? You know, <laughs> downloading a ZML from GitHub. We want to make it even even easier to to get get going with ZenML. So we provide you with a, a fully managed ZenML, but only so to say with the metadata. So the the your data will still stay with you. You just connect to to our to the managed managed ZenML server, and we give you special um, features on top in the cloud version, in which you won't get in the open source version. For example, RBAC or SSO or we, we we don't unveil all of them yet, but we are we are still in the making of having uh, features which are only in our paid version. Yeah, and what's what's critical is that the core of ZenML as a framework will be not something we monetize on. So the features that we will build are things that you have to build around pipelines um, that just need to happen, and they only really make sense in a central service, a paid service like CICD or again, I don't want to say any features if we end up not building them because we are a startup, but but there are certain things that you need to build sort of parallel to your stack and to manage that life cycle of the pipeline and the model. And that those are the features that are sort of somehow nothing to do with the open source product, except they augment and add value on top. So the, the core is open, but the cloud product will be some for teams who want to not do that themselves as well. And how would the con how would the connection between CI/CD pipelines and ZML pipelines look like? Or maybe even taking regular machine learning pipelines into consideration. What does that look like? I think there's a difference between CI/CD of normal software versus machine learning. So the the object which is in focus when you do CI/CD in software is usually code and the output of the code of the application in machine learning, I would say that the output should be the machine learning pipeline and the life cycle of the pipeline. So the way you do unit tests or integration tests are different. So for example, the unit tests in CI could be testing the steps of a pipeline. The integration tests could be how do those steps interact with other parts of the component. So if you're testing the connection to the feature store, you're te testing the connection to, to, I don't know, your data warehouse or you're testing the connection to your deployment, maybe you're doing mock deployments on a staging stack, and then you're updating the pipeline which is running in production already. So the product of CICD is machine learning pipelines for CICD for machine learning. I think in other worlds, it's a bit different. It's not a machine learning pipeline, which is the product, it is the application. But this sounds like uh, only the training part, right? Uh, or is it? Does it also include the deployment part, the pipeline itself, right? How yeah, do you do yeah. it? So I, I focused on training naturally, but uh, oftentimes, if you have a batch inference pipeline, for example, that could be part of that as well. If you have an endpoint that flows out of a deployment pipeline, that could also be treated the same way. I was simply commenting on the fact that it's not just code; it's also data. That's that's really the difference. Like. It's, 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 and that makes the whole process slightly different. I mean, you could probably reuse a lot of the principles, but it's just gets a bit trickier.